to harden off this tap you heat it up to a cherry red heat and quench it in cool water that makes it really hard what they call glass hard virtually brittle and then we'll temper it back to a straw colour which is ideal for metal cutting taps we'll get some warmth into it Into the water. Right, so that now will be in a fully hardened state. You will not be able to mark that with a file. I need to polish it, get it nice shiny metal again. I'll bring it back and then we'll temper it. Right, I've got a file here and you can see the file is just sliding over it. That really is hard now to the point of being brittle. Right, I've got it cleaned up so it's nice and shiny on the end. I don't know whether the camera will pick it up. We need to heat this up till it goes a straw colour. It'll go blue in various colours and the last one will be a straw. I think it's about 400 degrees Fahrenheit. That then is quenched ideally in whale oil or sperm oil, whatever I'm afraid 1040 will have to do. So we'll play the heat around the bottom here and we'll watch the colours come up, right temperature into the oil. And this actually softens it or tempers it. I'm starting to change the colour now. We've got a blue colour on the bottom, we're starting to run up the face. And it there goes. Once we get a straw colour on the top. Getting very near now. Right, top blue, beautiful blue colour, then it'll do a straw colour, which is just about there. Into the oil, oil and bubble. We'll get the flame away because I won't do any, any flash of us. You can temper in water, but I think oil gives a better cooling effect, slower cooling effect and I like the smell of burning oil it puts a nice finish on the part as well now I've seen that oil has gone with the heat Probably drill that out freehand and put the tap in freehand, but I might as well use a machine that's standing here. Just get it nice and square and straight. Put some spacers under there.
I did have a 30 mil nut there. As you can see, it doesn't want to, doesn't want to play. I'm just going to use this set that the line that the hole up with. Nothing too complicated. Get it somewhere near like that. Loosen off the two clamp ropes. Oops, yeah, okay. Right, and that's going to line it up. Get them back up. Just means that that's right under the, the centre of the spindle, that's all. And we'll lock the table off at that as best we can with. Right, I need that hole in there to be 19.5. I think I've got a 19.5 mm cut, I'll have a look. Right, I've got an imperial drill here which measures at 19.4. I'm sure that's going to be near enough all it's going to be doing. Basically taking half the thread out. Right, I did machine two flats on the the top before I hardened it. I used a rotary fail. Some people call a mangle grind. It's pretty I did put this is not easy with one arm or one and a half arms or half an arm or see I'm just using the centre there hold it nice and true. I'll bring the camera a little bit closer. WD40 is me Lubricant of choice for aluminium, but I haven't got any at the minute. It's not easy. It's certainly going in, no problem. Cutting quite a nice thread actually. Feels good. I'll try some of the motions. Whatever, motions, blood, the green ankle loop, that's normally pretty good. My right, journey are a sloppy bastard when you start.
great, so I think you'll agree with that. When we had top, it's doing the job very nicely. Feds are a little bit on the tight side, but it certainly isn't going to give any problems. Right. You've probably seen me use this loads of times for welding. Uh, it's just a big pipe flange with a car wheel bearing on the bottom of it. Often I put a chuck in the centre as well. You put round things in and you get a better weld. I've always wanted to motorise it or make a motorised welding table that I can use horizontal 45 degrees and up in, in vertical. Uh, I'll probably use that chuck for a smaller plate, possibly an 8 inch plate. So over the years, or over the last year or so anyway, I've been collecting various bits and pieces. Uh, one of the first things I got was a, a 12 volt DC motor, it's a windscreen wiper motor. Uh, worm gear, quite a nice reduction drive on it. To go along with that, I bought a speed controller off eBay. 12 volt 30 amp, sorry, 20, 24 volt 30 amp speed controller. It wasn't a great lot of money uh, when you think what you're getting. It also come with a little plastic container for it as well, a little plastic box. I'll couple this up and show you it in action. To power this, I'm just going to use my Dewalt rechargeable battery drills with positive on there and negative on there. It's got an off position and it is variable speed. This probably runs slow enough as it is, but I will need a much better bearing to support the weight of the chuck and the weight of the table. I'll put some on there so you can get a better idea of how it's. And that's as slow as it goes, that's, that's still too fast for a TIG weld. Obviously, it goes up from there. Disconnect the battery so we don't get any excitement. Right, the other thing I've got, I actually got this off Bob, it's a right angle drive, a reduction drive. Shock goes into there, and that's I think it was a 10 to 1 reduction. So I'll be able to use this, mount this into a case somehow, uh, face plate the chuck on there, and then drive it and adapt that plate and drive it off the end of the 12 volt wire motor. Just got to find a Take this apart and take this out and see if I can machine a shoulder on or make a new shaft for it just so I can convert it to that size with a key on it and that'll go under there like that. So it's a nice little project, uh, no riding and tearing up with your arms are absolutely aching now. Um, I'll try and get a little bit of this done this week and hopefully get some video. Like I say I have got quite a few of these aluminium just an aluminium tube with a blank plug welded in, but the weld's got to look the business. As always, it's just time to say a massive thanks for watching, subscribing and clicking the like button. And as always, a massive thanks for all the well wishes and kind words that are coming in towards me and my wife and my dad now. Anyway, thanks for watching.